If you're looking to keep up with the stock market while on the go, then keep watching because I'm going to walk you through my favorite app to use if you're a busy professional, a stay-at-home mom, or a college student to trade stocks from your phone. Let's get into it. All right, Jason Brown here, and I'm going to walk you through how to download and navigate trading using the Charles Schwab Street Smart Central mobile app. So let's get into it. First, unlock your phone. In this case, we're doing this on an iPhone. You're going to go into the App Store, but it works the same on an Android phone. Type in Street Smart, and you'll see Street Smart Mobile, but you can just search for Street Smart. Typically knows what you're looking for. And so the Street Smart mobile app by Charles Schwab is the first one that comes up. If you didn't already have it downloaded, you would click the word get and you would get the app and download it. But since we already have it downloaded, you can see that it has the word open. Now, rather than open, I'm going to go back to the home screen and just show you exactly what the app looks like. So if I go into my banking folder here, you can see in the bottom right hand corner, we got the Street Smart mobile app. So if I click that, it's going to prompt me to log in. The way that I have it set up is that I can log in with my fingerprint for a touch ID. You can set it up to use your username and password. Either or works fine. So I'm just going to touch it, unlock it with my touch ID. And so now that's going to bring me into uh, my test demo account. Now, as I walk you through this, I'm going to take you through all the tabs and I'm going to walk you through the layout. So at the very top, you can see your total account value. So however much money you have inside your account, it's going to show right there. Second line is going to show your total gain or loss for the day. So uh, as of today, this demo account is up $20 and three cents. If you place any orders, if you have any open or if you had any filled or completed, it's going to show right there how many you had open or how many you had completed. So if you had one trade open, one trade fill, then you know that the one trade you placed was completed. But if you had two trades open and one filled, then you know that one trade is still open and outstanding. Now, the first tab is going to give you a high level overview of the market. So the first market is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. You can see this is showing real or near real time quotes. So it's moving as we're doing this recording. The Dow Jones Industrial Average price is going up and down, as you can see there. Now, right below it, you're going to see a graph that kind of shows you the day's worth of trading. So from 930 to open all the way until current time, which is about 340 as of the time we're recording this right now. And then 1600 in military time, that would be four o'clock. So you can see we're getting real close to the closing of the market. Just below that, we're on the Dow Jones Industrial Average tab. So you can get a high level overview of the S&P 500 and you can get a high level overview of the NASDAQ 100. And then you can get a high level overview of the VIX. So you could just get a snapshot from a graph and from a point movement, how many points is the Dow Jones up, the S&P up, or the NASDAQ up for the day, or the VIX for that matter. And so that walks us through the first tab on the market. The next tab is going to be news. So when you click the news, it's just going to curate uh, news that however Charles Schwab syndicates this news, whatever they feel is important, or however their algorithms work, it's going to curate that news for you. So you can click in here and see top news front page from Reuters. You can click on that and just read it. There's no images or anything like that. But if you see a headline that kind of catches your eye, you could just keep up with the news from right there. Under Idea Hub, which is their trademark for uh, figuring out or giving their traders of their app some ideas, you can look at what's trending, the big movers. You can look at what's trending as far as from an earnings standpoint. And you can look at uh, some type of income investments or covered costs. If you click on big movers, for example, you can see there's trade or fade. So that means things you want to get in or things you want to pass up on, basically bullish or bearish. But if you go to trade, you can sort by large daily change and in open interest, increase in stock volume. So maybe you're looking for things that have moved uh, big on volume today, uh, things that had a big increase in implied volatility, uh, large option volume. Now, I don't know what they are considering large, uh, but whatever their algorithm is to consider large, uh, that's what it's going to pull up, for example. So if I look at who had the largest option volume change, uh, you can see AMD, Intel, HBI. So you can go through that. Now, 
Uh, that's how the idea hub works. Now let's go all the way uh, back down to the bottom. So we were under the accounts tab. Under the position tab, if you had any positions open, there's a default and then there's a strategy view. Uh, under the default, we're just gonna tell you any open position you have, what it's doing for the day, how much you're up, uh, just the basic stock quote information, not a whole lot of excitement there, but at least allows you to monitor your account. If you go to the order status, this is going to let you filter by what orders do I have open today, maybe yesterday, last seven days, or uh, all time. And you can filter by all statuses where they feel was the order canceled? Is the order still open? So you can filter if you are a person that's placing a lot of trades and you kind of need to sort and filter through it. Now, let's move over to the trade tab because this is probably one of the most important pieces. Uh, where you can actually place trades, especially if you work a full-time job or you're a stay-at-home mom and you're running errands with the kids or you're a college student, you need to keep up with the market, possibly be able to place a trade. You can do that right from your smartphone. So let's talk about it. Let's look up Apple since we're doing this tutorial from an Apple phone and they report earnings uh, today. You see here, uh, what's nice about it is once you type in the Apple symbol, it's going to tell you the stock price, which is $191.50 at the time of this recording. But notice that it just changed. So you're getting real-time streaming quotes, or at least near real-time streaming quotes as the price goes up and down. So a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between having uh, an app like the Street Smart Central app and other apps? And uh, a lot of the time, just getting real-time quotes, like knowing what's going on right now with this stock especially if you're going to pull the trigger on it you can do from a strategy standpoint you can buy call options you can buy put options you can buy the stock or etf so let me just allow that to refresh here and once that's done i'll go back into there and show you all the other uh, opportunities so stock futures uh, so you could also do spreads, call spreads, put spreads, butterflies, iron condors, iron butterflies. If you're familiar with all that, you could do straddle, strangles, covered calls, merry put, combos, collars, you name it. You can do it all uh, from the app, which is really nice. I'm just going to look at buying a call option, for example. And once this refreshes, I'm going to show you how you can put all your information in, look at the option chain right from your phone and then determine the price and everything. So we got Apple here. It's trading at 191. So let's say uh, we want to buy to open. Now you could also buy to close, sell to open or sell to close, depending on what strategy you're doing. But let's just say we want to do 10 contracts. All right. Now we want to go out to October. So you can see right here, you can scroll through the date of the option chain, go down to October. Let's just say we want to go 10, roughly $10 in the money. So we'll go down to about the 180 strike price call option. I'm going to hit done. What you'll notice is underneath, you'll see what the bid is. So it's going for 1550. What the ask is 1560. But far to the left, you'll see what the last price was, which was 1555. So it's a good chance you can get filled at that five cents difference from buying it at fifteen sixty, but you can see it's just jumped up to fifteen sixty five, then jump back. You can also jump down here and say, just give me whatever price the market is going for. You can set a limit, so you can say, hey, I don't want to pay anything more than fifteen fifty five for this trade, and so it won't place the trade unless you can get filled at fifteen fifty five. Duration, you can say how long is that good for? Good for the day or GTC, which stands for good until cancel, which means this order will stay open until you cancel it. Um, I don't recommend that because if you wake up tomorrow or a week later and you say, wait a minute, when did I buy some Apple options? It's because you forgot to cancel um, your order out. So I like to leave mines on the day. Down here, AON, that stands for all or none. So I either want all 10 contracts or I want none of them. That's what that stands for. And then you can do uh, some advanced orders if that's your thing. Uh, you could buy off the bid, off the ass, off the last. That's going to trigger your order. Um, you can buy if the direction is greater than two points for the day. So see how it's up $1.50 and you say, hey, don't send this trade to the market unless the Apple's up $2 or two points or less than a certain amount. And then we got the duration again down there at the bottom once you have everything um in here what's really cool is you can preview the order so what this is going to tell you is that 
at this time, this account does not have sufficient funds to cover this order because this is just a demo account. Um, so you'll see that you could also go to trade calculator to figure out how much uh, money would you need and it'll also tell you your profit loss ratio which is really cool here so you can see it's saying hey um, at 135 at 154 176 180 you don't really make any money at 197 this is where you start to uh, make some profit on this 218 239 so it just kind of gives you um, an idea of how it looks and where you start making money at with this trade so uh, you know, pretty cool. Uh, it helps you calculate that. Now, it didn't tell us how much we actually needed for the trade, but typically, uh, if we had enough money in this account, the preview would have told us uh, how much money we have. But it looks like if you don't have enough money uh, in this account against the demo account, it won't even give you the preview. All right. So I'm just going to test out trade calculator again. And yep, yeah, nope, it's not going to tell you the amount. So that is how you use the trade tab though. And then you can just hit clear, clear that on out. Last but not least, you have the menu option. So this is where you can check, uh, set up your balances, your settings, you can call swap, you can change your quotes around uh, and, and you can change how they look. You can go into uh, charts, for example. So actually, I'm sorry, quotes will allow you to get different quotes and get a look at the stock chart in the news. So like I have Apple here, we got the summary. We can say what news is going on with Apple. We can check the details of the stock for the day. Uh, we can look at the, you know, the open interest, the bid, the range, all of that stuff. Earnings, uh, next earnings, which is July 31st, which is today as we're doing this recording. So it'll tell you all that information right from your phone. You can also go down here to charts, which is pretty cool. And you can, this is again, another one of my favorite parts. We like to look at candlestick charts. So we can go down here and change it from a line chart to a candlestick chart. And this is intraday. We could also zoom out and say, give me one month, give me a six month chart. And I can look at this right from my phone. I can also add indicators to it if I want it to. So I can say, give me an exponential, um, they'll say a uh, 20, a uh, 50 day moving average. Let's just add a 50 day. All right. And so right from my phone, I'm going to get a 50 day moving average. Now, if I hit this little crosshair, I can drag along the chart and kind of see like, what was the price at this point And what was the date? And I can hit that crosshair and take it off. There's other indicators you can add. I'll leave those to you to play with it. But I just wanted to show you what's possible with this mobile app to be able to just get all this information right from your phone, the one month, the intraday. Notice at the bottom you have the volume. That is all powerful information to have at your fingertips. Now let's look at, you can go into the option change. You can also create a uh, watch list from this. So like I have a bearish watch list. This is just an example. It's not a real watch list. Uh, I have a daily watch list. These are things I watch daily. Uh, I have what I like to call electronic alerts watch list. So these are the stocks I like to set alerts on for an example. And then paper trades, potential trade spreads. So you can create numerous watch lists from this. And then there's your idea hub. Again, you just have to agree to the terms and conditions to get in there. And then they have what's called a dragon scanner. So this thing will scan for potential opportunities based on these preset criteria, high stock volume, high option volume, high put call ratio, uh, et cetera. Now, again, I don't know what Charles Schwab defines as high, so to speak. So uh, I don't know the algorithm that makes it pull in what it's going to pull in, but just wanted you to know you have all of those tools and research tools uh, right at your fingertips. So that concludes my demo of the Charles Watt mobile app. I hope that helps you out. And this is all the information that you need to be able to keep up with the stock market on the go and be in the know. So that's it. Now you're prepared to trade stocks right from your smartphone. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos like how to open your first trading account and how to trade options for beginners. And be sure to hit the bell notification so you can get notified when I do live trainings right here on YouTube.
I'll see you on the next video.